Shakespeare and Company. I can't even focus on some stupid daytime soap opera, so I call up Lance and we go to Barnes & Noble of all places, but at least I can put myself to use for once as I introduce him to Ashbury and some others, but not Le Tremont, because they don't sell him here. And I notice, of course, there are no horses. It's like that here all the time, I think. Then we're eating at Magic Walk, where the owner's daughter rings up your order, and Lance is going off as usual about how god-awful the movies are these days, when I notice it's been exactly three hours since I sent that text and still no response from her, so I'm not hungry anymore. At closing time, the kid extends her arm, her open palm, toward the exit in a solemn salute, and it hits me how vexingly impossible it would be to text with hooves instead of hands. I don't know why Lance shakes my hand goodbye with his left, though he writes with his right. I don't know my friends as well as I'd like. Driving home to NPR is all things considered. No, they can't be, I'm thinking, not all at once. Sure, I'd like to be Hemingway or Beckett, sweating to death in a musty cafe. But I'm behind the wheel and there are cars with living people in them to focus on. Plus, I'm just radiant, using a word like musty for now. Then, as if to remind me, I'm home and it's 12.15 a.m., December 15th. There's a knock, like someone wants to break the door in. And I know a thing or two about strangers. So I put my book down and let the horse in. We sit on the couch, speechless for a while, and watch TV, a new way film on TCM. Then the horse butts in. Godard got Paris all wrong. Where are all the horses? The mares that trot along the Seine and mingle among the Bucanis, though late for appointments with friends. The stallions in cafes sharing drinks and stories with men. But since the world isn't flat like a stage, it's past 9 a.m. in Paris, which means by now, the bookstore where I bought these Chant de Maldoror is swelling with the breath lost by friends and foals together, and by tourists who don't know any better.